a woman named Patricia Silva took a photo of a trans person in there as a guy pretending to be a gal, shaving his face. That was our first clue. Planet Fitness is defending the man in the women's locker room, the man with the penis, rather than the child sitting in the corner with a towel wrapped around her. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. Uh, you know, I woke up today thinking, man, the Planet Fitness gravy train is coming to an end. There's only so much bad news that could come out in yesterday's video where uh, people were essentially filming um, mommy daddy time videos. I don't really know how else to describe them. Uh, I thought, well, this is it. This is rock bottom for Planet Fitness. Well, looks like after some initial digging and some uncomfortable search history, in particular for myself, it turns out that Planet Fitness is also a very popular place for degenerates to film their content. They're happy to post it publicly on the internet. They're happy to include people who are not uh, agreeing to be in their videos, in their videos, and more. And also, I'm going to add a little extra context to this because there was a law that was vetoed yesterday that kind of goes directly towards why this issue is so important and why, you know, it's just public spaces. By the way, it just so everyone knows, yes, it's... Planet Fitness, but also LA Fitness, Crunch Time Fitness, um, Gold Gym, I think. Uh, any of these public gyms that are publicly traded, all are fine with this kind of behavior. A simple Google search will show you uh, all the terrible things that are coming up, but let's get into it because I know we all love our daily dose of the slow motion car wreck that is Planet Fitness. If you're enjoying this channel, please make sure you leave a like on the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe or follow down below. It helps immensely. Also, a huge shout out. I have a second channel. I know many of you have heard me talk about my live stream channel. Well, I also started putting overflow videos there. Um, I have a couple of videos going up there today. I just did a video about um, jiggle physics with Melanie Mack. And then, you know, there's probably going to be three to four new, completely separate videos a day on Quartercast. It's also the home of my daily live stream at 5 30 Eastern. I'm going to leave it linked. In the description if you're a youtube only viewer please subscribe to it um if you're a rumble viewer all the videos will be combined on my rumble page so you don't need to subscribe just another w for rumble but these videos are different more casual more fun and uh i hope you'll you'll tune in there and enjoy let's start with uh oh my god okay <laughs> let's start <laughs> i don't know how much of this stuff i can even show you um Chaya Raichik apparently has some connections inside of Planet Fitness. And an interesting uh, DM was sent here. Received this message today. Planet Fitness isn't safe for women. Thanks for the tip. Side note, just flew into Texas to see the family. And of all the things to come up in conversation by mom, mentions that she canceled her Planet Fitness membership because of their things she read online about their trans policies. Good. By the way, has this come up in everyday life for you? Has it reached that level? I remember when I knew that the Bud Light story was going to be big was when like normies at the bar, not all of us who are plugged into the internet every day were discussing, but when like normies at the bar were discussing it, I was like, uh oh, this is something that's going to be bad. Um, obviously, send this person, it's like they're an auto reply, out reminding LA Fitness, trans individuals may use the locker rooms associated with their gender, all sorts of, you know. It, this stuff is, you know, uh, is spreading. And by the way, people pointing out, you know, hey, the stock keeps going up. I mean, it did go down yesterday, but most of the market did. It's true. It's true. I'm not going to pretend. I mean, yes, it took an initial dip, but it keeps going up. And um, that's probably, like I talked about yesterday, um, you know, uh, how many shares that BlackRock owns of Planet Fitness. They own an immense amount of shares. I wanted to find, um, I feel like I mentioned it yesterday. It is a significant percent of the company. 
Uh, so they probably pumped in a bunch more money. Obviously, I can't prove that. Maybe there's some way for smarter people than me to look it up. But it's it's wild. I wonder if I can quick do um, Black Rock Planet Fitness. Real time. I always do all my videos live. Here you go. Who owns Planet Fitness? Planet Fitness. BlackRock Inc. is the largest individual Planet Fitness shareholder, owning 12 million shares, representing nearly 14% of the entire company. So, hmm, hmm. Well, before I get to the terrible, terrible pictures, I want to talk about how what this looks like in a practical sense. The erasure of women. The removal of spaces where women are... Uh, uh, you know, supposed to be safe. In my state, by the way, whenever Evers comes up for re-election, you can count on me. Whoever runs the opposition party, you just let me know. I will bring on your candidate. I will uh, make donations. I will do whatever it takes to get uh, within the letter of the law to get Tony Evers out of office. He's an absolute scumbag who tried to lock down this state. Uh, we were only saved by our Republican Supreme Court which we now lost thanks to um, Gen Z getting out there and wanting to scramble their baby's brains and flush them down the toilet. But that's for a different video. This happened yesterday. Evers tweeted this out like it was going to be a big win, only to get ruthlessly ratioed. I just vetoed Republicans' anti-LGBTQ bill ban to ban trans and gender nonconforming kids from participating in school sports teams that align with their gender identity. LGBT kids deserve our love and respect. Bro, what about the kids that you are now making uncomfortable with that? A lot of people in the replies, a man letting men compete against women. I guess there's the institutionalized misogyny after all, and you're the face of it. Libby Emmons, what is a woman? Women deserve respect. You know, female runners not feeling great about her chances against the girl with the beard. Obviously, hilarious joke. When did you start believing humans were actually gendered essences which could be accidentally housed in the wrong and ultimately inconsequential meat sack female sports is celebrating female excellence it's not an affirmation experience for identity confused boys and men you are a religious fundamentalist working in direct opposition to human rights of women and girls dang billy brig that's a killer reply that is an excellent reply i mean Women out there being forced to compete against biological men in feats of strength, in sports, right? This is all part of the same ideology, isn't it? It's all part of the same garbage. There are literal laws that are supposed to be protecting women in women's sports to give them a fair chance. You know, a fair chance. You see Wisconsin Dem Democratic governor faces backlash after vetoing GOP bill to protect female sports. You despise all women. Any man or any government or any company or any woman who thinks that biological men should be hanging around biological women in the locker room or in women's only spaces or competing against them in women's only sports where biology matters. I, I admit, obviously, there are sport, there are competitive things that people could do that don't, you know, aren't biologically limited chess, for example, or, um, I don't know. I, there's lots of them. I obviously I can't, you know, probably I would imagine competitive like target, you know, archery or I don't know, things like that. Um, where maybe it isn't exactly, you don't need gender brackets. And I think you can make a case for that, but 99, uh, 999 of a thousand people will agree that the only, I mean, if you look at this guy's replies, the only people that are supporting it have LGBT or trans flags in their bio. And even this person, <laughs> gay, not queer. Nothing about this is anti-LGB. Men don't belong in women's sports. Nothing about that is anti-gay. Based. Based. Weird flex groomer. This guy is, you know, this is the guy in... That's the governor of my state. I remember what he did. I remember his pathetic lockdown attempt. This guy, who is this for? It's to get likes and retweets. It's because he wants to try to get into federal office. His entire comment section is full of people dunking on him. Who wants this crap? It's a it's it's particularly insidious. 
you know, it's it's gross. It pushes this on on women who didn't agree to this. Well, <laughs> to be uh, to be fair, not all women, not the women that watch my videos, but uh, <laughs> feminism pushed for this. It's called pushing the Overton window. Watch a video on this yesterday. We talked about it on the live stream, by the way, 530 tonight. Eastern Sticks Hexenhammer will be joining me. Hope you're there. Um, the the idea of pushing the Overton window out is to make more and more insane things in the window of people's purview so that it normalizes things that you used to think were insane. So when they say normal, normalize sleeping with animals or um, calling people minor attracted persons, that pushes the, the window of what is liberal so far out that suddenly gender affirmation is a little bit closer to center now. That's what their goal is by doing this. A lot of people ask, what is the goal? Why do you, the real goal is to make a lot of this degeneracy seem closer to the normal. Now, thankfully, since Elon Musk purchased Twitter, a lot of this stuff, people's voices are actually getting heard. And oh, by the way, back to Planet Fitness, you know, what's next for them? Well, a large cash injection uh, from globalist companies, BlackRock and others whether or not they're going to lose market value long term, I still say is going to depend on the next time they have to publicly push, publicly publish um, membership numbers. We're not going to see a huge hit until that happens or until such a point where, you know, something really insane happens. Why aren't they coming up for me? Okay. I mean, we already seen that they aren't allowed to tweet. They're not allowed to tweet. They're not allowed to um, put Facebook posts because they're getting ratioed into oblivion. They've lost months of advertising. Okay. Oh, and by the way, people are using their locker rooms to film prawn. Shocking, disgusting perv takes photos of his junk um, in front of customers at Planet Fitness. This is the environment that Planet Fitness fosters. What's stopping pervs from just walking into the women's bathroom and doing this? Is anyone safe? No, they're not safe. That's the truth. You know, Planet Fitness is not safe for women. I mean, that picture was blurred, but, you know, you can t you know what's going on there. Um, I mean, this guy is obviously fully ready to go, we'll say. If you do just a very simple, like, Reddit search, you know, this is from four days ago. I'm not going to show you the image, but... Oops, things got messy at my Planet Fitness. Watch only on my OnlyFans. So people are using uh, Planet Fitness to promote uh, prawn that they film there. That they film there. How's that $10 a month membership looking now? Are you still hanging on to it? Make sure you spread this video far and wide. I'm going to leave a link in the description and pin comment to Quartercast, my second channel. Go check out the video we did about jiggle physics yesterday. There's going to be four videos, I think, there today that aren't anywhere else. Obviously, they'll be on the main Rumble channel as well. But if you're a YouTube-only viewer, check that channel out. That's where we're live Monday through Friday at 530 Eastern. Had a record crowd last night. Hope to see you there. We'll talk to you again real soon.